Good morning. We are on our way to a ferry in the place of Lande Jahafen, which I've probably said perfectly correctly. That was um, really good. I know, and we're heading to Jaime today. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go and check out a, a sanctuary where we're going to do lots of fun things which involve whales. Um, I think there's lots of other fun things we're going to do there. But Might go to a puff, puffin place as a well. A puffin place. Um, that's not to do with smoking. Those are the birds, of course. <laughs> that's why they call them puffins. That's why they call them puffins, because they're always smoking. They love Terrible the sl the smokers. <laughs> right now we've got like a two hour trip to the ferry. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll be all good on the ferry. Let's see how scenic this drive is. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a bit more difficult to drive. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm still wearing sunglasses. <laughs> that doesn't help. God. <laughs> what about all the Arctic foxes, which is the only native animal in Iceland? Really? Have you seen a doesn't bird? sound true. There are puffins. There are puffins. There better be puffins. I can't see anything. It's getting worse. <laughs> it's oh getting my God. worse. Oh, God, it's bike. Bloody hell, mate. It sells bar. Pepsi Max and bakery. <laughs> it really is. It's got a massive Ross Pepsi loves. Max. <laughs> I don't know why I went for the pizza thing. What's that, the pizza? Look at it, it's massive. It's massive, it looks like pork belly. How's your pork belly? It's what you'd expect. Nothing like pork belly. It actually tastes like pizza. Oh good. 15 out of 10. A 15 out of 10? <laughs> well, I best, best get started. I've never driven the Peugeot 3008. Should I give you a review of the car? Please. Um, well, I've only put my foot on the brake so far. Very easy to start, you push this button here, which says engine start stop. Does the horn work? That's the sound of the horn. Did you hear it? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Yeah. You can hear the horn. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, feel free to go down that road. Okay. Left-hand drive, of course. This country drives on, on the right-hand side of the road which we need to keep reminding Smith. I don't even know if we're allowed to drive on this road. Maybe not. No, no we are. We've got permission, written permission. Oh, yeah, um, we've you. got the legal permission to oh, drive on as many roads as possible oh, here. Just... I like the steering wheel though, because it's, it's kind of cut off here. It's kind of a bit toy-like though. It's very modern. Very modern, yes, very modern. Here we are. You happy? It's so cold. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the wind is brutal. I'm like, yeah, no, it looked really cool. It's going to be I, even colder I on that know. boat. I know. Luckily, I bought some massive coats with me. Hey, Chris Trot, how many clothes have you got with you? Just this and a raincoat. Oh, you're the raincoat. I'll be right. Yeah, raincoat. Yeah, it's raincoat. not going to be all right, guys. It's a wind blocker. Whoa! My boy's flying quick. We're on the boat. Yeah. Let's yeah, go yeah. check out the top side. Yeah. Fresh off the ferry, ready to check out our bunks for the night, which is a special pod system. Pang, hang. Pang. I hope I fit in it. Oh. oh. Wow. There we go. <laughs> That's your right panel. There's your ceiling. You got a smoke alarm, nice, good. Here's your mirror, set up. Hello. Yeah, there's a TV. All of them have TVs. Are you just about fitting in this as well? So it's just. Yeah. It's quite big to be fair. Like, I'm sitting near enough six foot five. I'm like 197 centimeters long. Right. I think the max is probably 200 centimeters. The, the mattress is overly soft, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. We're not beggars, but we chose. We've we ch this life. Choosers can't be beggars. Yeah, it's can't not be. too expensive either. He's done. He's locked in. Ow. There's a button that says bury. Do I just push it? Okay, so, these cost. Oh fuck, how do I get out? <laughs> Ow. 
Hi. Um, so these cost about £45 a night. I think people would pay £45 to spend a night in one of these. It's a novelty, isn't it? You yeah. probably don't want to, like, spend a week in one of these. Anyway, this is our capsule hotel here on Vestmanyar. Is that right? Close enough. Oh, why is mine blue? blue? Hello. That's the sex capsule. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I chose the sex capsule. Oh. oh, it all wobbles a bit, doesn't it? It's all very it's much all like bit, plastic moulding. It's a cool novel idea, isn't it? To get a load of people into a tiny room. Yeah. Okay, bury him. Hi, Trot. What? There's so many pods, he's just escaped his pod. Um, it's like a, just a, like a hostel, I suppose. Is it just a matter of pushing, that little, found. pushing that little catch? There's a little stick. Oh, dinner tray, mate. Yeah. Maybe there's too many angles in here. Too many. Oh yeah, the styling, the <laughs> styling yeah. is hideous. They've, they've gone for Star Wars. It's gonna date like, horribly. Also, these lockers, which are also by the same company, I think. Yeah. Extremely plasticky. This would be trying to say this looks like a gimmick. This would be great on a plane. Imagine having pods on yeah. a plane. Like, oh, a plane's going down. <clears throat> Release the pods with their parachutes and padding. It's good. It's better than like a fucking camper van or something. Yeah. <sighs> you could bang in these. <laughs> That's loud, isn't it? You don't want to be on the top bunk. Hang on. <laughs> How does that? How's that going, Trot? Here he is. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I guess that kind of rules out subtlety. So if you are thinking of banging in one of these, just make sure no one's around you. I guess. I mean, it feels like we're the only people here. This is all designed to rattle around. I like. I can be buried in this. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, yeah, this is a... We're getting buried in these. These are Lux coffins. What if they wake up? What if they wake up? This is my what if I wake up scenario. <laughs> I get to just at least be in a plasticky shell. To starve to death. Yeah. Nice. I like it. I like this choice. Yeah. I think we'll sleep soon. Oh, you've got a nice little neighbour up here as well. Cool neighbour. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. Hello. We, uh, where are we? We are on a remote island. A Best remote man, yeah. island. We've, we Best got here man, by a yeah. ferry. Very beautiful on the way in, very gorgeous. We managed to see a little bit of the uh, beluga whales new sanctuary area, which they aren't in yet. But we need to see the beluga whales first. So yes. how do we do that? That's WDC go. has worked with the Sea Life Trust uh, to help develop this beluga sanctuary. And now we're gonna get to maybe meet two of the whales. Yeah. And an exclusive tour of the place as well. And so. maybe, for Smith's benefit, some sneaky puffin peeks. Oh, a little I would peek at a puffin. A puffin. A peek at a puffin would, yeah, would so, really send my spirit soaring. So we're going to head over there and check that out. I'm Can't very wait. excited. Let's go. It's over there. We've been given the honor of going through a staff only section to gain access to the beluga whales themselves, and this is a real privilege, so uh, very excited. Let's go meet them. So, the only way you can really get to the veins is on the um, tail, yeah. because I'm not sure if you can oh see on the tail there, you can see the little lines. Yeah, so, it's doing shows now, they still get paid by us. So this is Little White. Hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> hey. They're called the canaries of the sea because they can make a lot of noises. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so there's no sexual dimorphism really. Males are a bit bigger. That line there is the belly button. Here um, is her, the line in the middle is the, her bottom and her lady bits. The two lines at the side are her nipples. Boys don't have nipples, they just got the line uh, in the middle and everything's tucked in and they bring it out on Valentine's Day off. Yes. So all mammals, we all have fur. So when she was born, she actually had a little moustache here. Um, and that was to help find the mum's nipples. And it oh. falls out after about two weeks. She's got no molars, she doesn't chew. These are just used for killing the fish. I'm gonna send her back so she can get some fish and then she'll come back again. Oh, there, yeah. So yeah, you can see the ear there. Oh yeah, wow, it's a tiny little... Yeah, and now 
um, have low hole. Everyone yeah. thinks the brain is here. This isn't the brain. This is all just filled with fat. And she can do a big sneeze. Oh, wow. oh my goodness. <laughs> That's whale breath. Oh my goodness. So why I've been working with like mostly the four and a half years, like she's the one who I've got a very, very good bond with. Um, so she gets new skin about every two hours. Wow. Look at that. New skin every two hours. Oh my gosh. And that's because you know, notice even though she's a whale, she doesn't have like barnacles and stuff growing on her like the ones that she planked in. She's a tooth whale, so she needs to be quick. Oh. She called you graceful. <laughs> Look at that, you're going to be friends with them forever. Oh. You see it's quite squidgy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a big squidge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we are on the black sand beach of Hjala Hjalalarfen. I don't know where we are. Vestmanier. I've tried to read. Vestmanier. Vestmanier. Part of the Heimer. Is that right? Vestmanier. We've just seen the beluga whales. And the puffins. And the puffins. Do you have a puffin review? Yeah. I'm going to be puffing out my chest when I tell people all about the puffins I saw. But more interestingly, were the belugas actually. The belugas were incredible. Hey, the belugas were amazing. So smart. They yeah. have an ability to move their head like other um, whales can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they were like kind eyes. of puppies almost. Yeah. yeah. Like they were, they've obviously been previously trained um, and then trained once again to kind of unlearn some of that training. Well, they were utilizing um, that trailing to to ensure that they came over, they could check their fins, their bodies, their yeah. teeth and their tongues and stuff, make sure they're doing all right. And then eventually so release them into a much larger area, which, which is, saw. which we've, which, well, so I can show you now, this area here, which is um, a huge sanctuary area where they're gonna be looked after and that will be their forever home, which is safer than the wild because I don't think they're quite ready for that. They're just so expressive. Yeah. They've got personalities in like the 10 minutes that we met them for. We loved them. Yeah. And they're so going to cool. have a lovely time in that uh, new enclosure. Oh, yeah. Thanks everyone who uh, donated to the WDC I know. Uh, at Jingle Jam. Um, we really appreciate it. And the whales definitely did too. I think so. And I looked into its eye and, it, and I felt something. It felt seen. I don't know what it was. I felt like it knew me. It was a bond. It, it knew I was filming it, that's for sure. It kept they're coming up to the camera. Smart. It was they're flirting with the camera. It's harpoon. It's crazy. Tell you said they're too, too smart to harpoon? Yeah. Yeah, that was true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is true. Don't harpoon whales. I don't think this is radioactive sand. There might be a warning if it was. Uh, well, there's Russian black sand beaches. And yeah. this isn't the bad stuff, right? We don't really know because I think this is, this is just like <laughs> volcanic. I'm going to make a radioactive volcanic angel. <sighs> uh, is it lacerating you? Oh, it's so hot. Does it feel radioactive? Does feel pretty... do you, do your, can you, are your bones suddenly itchier than they were before? Free x-rays, baby. Yeah. Yeah, quick, <laughs> lay a bit of A4 on my chest. There's no one on this beach. We are just kind of ambling around now after we've seen those beluga whales. As you can see, it's very cute looking beluga whales. I think it's the first time I've considered that I might ever swim with a whale in a very controlled, that specific environment. I did have to, I was very getting very close to the edge though when filming it because you kind of just you don't realize when you're kind of looking through the lens, you're like, yeah, let's get a closer shot. Oh yeah, baby, work with the camera. You're a tiger, you're a, you're a big whale. You're a whale. Obviously, you're a beluga you're a, whale. You're a beluga whale, you're look at me. Whale. So WDC obviously sponsored um, us to learn to dive a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. There's a video about that as well. Um, and that kind of helps, you know, fa face one of your fears about deep water. Yeah, true. Now they've been, sort of expose you to, to whales as well. You're like, oh, maybe I can warm up to whales. Yeah. I like how WDC is essentially sort of like a therapy session. Yeah, it's, they've, 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 they've helped me personally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what next, you. sharks? Yeah. Yeah. Sharks. Are we doing sharks? sharks doing next. shark massages. No, I don't, I don't know. Sharks? Shark dentistry? 
Shark dentistry? Yeah. Yeah, pulling the teeth out of my body as they tear <laughs> through it. Do nah. you guys want to see if we can find some wild puffins? We're still on the island. But now, we found some wild puffins. Which, as everyone knows, are called that because they love a ciggy. Be really careful, because we're right on the edge of a cliff. Yes. Look, here's a tractor. That tractor... Oh, God. <laughs> Look at him next to the edge there. If he goes rolling on under, that'd be great viral video. I'm trying to film the next viral video, mate. <laughs> Accidentally slips. <laughs> Man, jokes falling down and falls and down. And falls down. Right, go, let's go. <laughs> Funny though. Tiny puffin. Do you see the puffin? What about this puffin? No, that's not a puffin. That's a pigeon. Ugh. Don't do it, buddy. Whoa, he went. On these very puffin cliffs, something quite funny happens. So every year when all the baby puffins are born in their burrows, they live underground, they're meant to get to a certain age where they can develop enough feathers that they have to leap from the cliffs and then fly out into the ocean. And that's part of their like training. It's, it's, it's the start of their like life and it's an important process. But because there's a town behind here, the lights apparently distract the baby puffins and they walk the wrong way. They don't jump off the cliff, they walk towards the town. So each year during the sort of season, the children of the town go around with torches and cardboard boxes and find all of the little pufflings that have, have, have gone the wrong way. And then they come to the cliffs and throw them off. Oh. <laughs> and it's like a big celebration. And, Yay! And, and, and so you just come here with a little baby puffling. Chuck it off these cliffs and then they fly and start their life cycle. But it's just kind of funny that you have to go and collect all these babies and chuck them off. Look oh, at mate, these cliffs. You're in the wrong place. <laughs> Get off there. I feel bad if they didn't fly. We're going to reenact that now. I'm a puffling! <laughs> Puffin watch! Look at those pixels in that puffin. <laughs> Send me a vector file, goddammit, not this shit! Puffins. Oh, it tells you the story. Really chuck them off the. the, oh, the right. Look how happy that child is. Hold on a sec. No, we are really ripping the Photoshop Hold on. on this. That's the same kid. They've used that in the image. danger sign. <laughs> Imagine because being the kid immortalizes the danger <laughs> sign of falling off a cliff. Danger yeah. kid. Puff and watch. That Puff was our watch. Puff and watch segment. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're subscribing and liking for that puffing, puffing content. Get puffed. Yeah, there's Stay more puffed. to come. Stay, Stay puffed, puffed, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Stay, Stay puffed. puffed. Looks like a painting, just like in the background. It just doesn't yeah. look like there's Maybe any depth to it. This tiny town is so small. Yeah. And this island is super small. We're gonna try and see if we can find somewhere to grab a little munch. We had some pizza Ooh, from a really nice geez. place earlier, which was the only place they really recommended. So we've already kind of blown our load on that one, unfortunately. <laughs> So we're going to kind of see if anything's open past. What time is it now? Is it, it's not a KFC it's on the island, is it? It's 9 now. Yeah, it's 9 yeah. p.m. We wouldn't really guess it from the active. brightness. I think it sunsets at 10, 30, 11? Something like that. So sunset is uh, quite late here. I mean, the kids are still out at night. They're still having a great time. Well, this, where are they going to go drink? Where are those Where are those kids getting their booze from? Where do you guys drink then? Do people just go to bed really early, do you think, in this town? Might as well. Might as well. Just, what well, else is there to do? What's the weather like? I mean, it's beautiful, but I wouldn't want to live here for, nice, for it, many reasons. Nice to visit, right? Oh, really nice to visit. Yeah, I recommend it for oh, the, the puffins alone. Here we go, it's open. That's some really good oh, stuff. you got yeah. jalapeno bites, nuggets, french fries, sauce, hummus, fizzy rice, and uh, goose layers. Oh, layers of goose, my favorite. We mm. have mm. chicken Ooh. nuggets and chips. Honestly, not bad. Yeah, not really bad. quite good. Yeah. Simple. Tempted to go back there. Not now. Oh, really? You're hungry? That's really nice. That's a garlic mayo. These, I would say, are better than what we had yesterday at Metro. Really? Less greasy. They were too greasy. These right? aren't as greasy. Yeah. These are like these are closer to chicken they nuggets from McDonald's. They look just like it. We're going around the corner and find a steak place, aren't we? In true British style, you can just throw your takeaway oh, yeah. all over the road. Um, we were saying about how clean it is in here. 
Yeah. And we were like, no, oh, it's because it doesn't have drunk British people destroying it. Yeah. So yeah, now we're going to go to this sort of, like, just a really basic pub. That one there is where we wanted to go, but because it's Tuesday and it's Iceland, it closed at seven o'clock. Tuesday. Tuesday. Here we are. <laughs> the original puffin bar. Ooh. It looks... Delightful. You've got the right food for it. It's an interesting puffin, mm -hmm. puffin bar. It's the original puffin bar. Don't accept no imitation. Is this going to be like... Have you seen Wicker Man? He goes to a desert, like a really isolated island, in the middle of nowhere, and then he ends up just getting put into a Wicker Man. Spoiler alert. Yeah, but Ross, the difference is we're not Nick Cage. Nick Cage? Is it Nick Cage? No, it's not Ugh. Nick Cage. It's not Nick Cage, is it? Did not Nick Cage do a Wicker Man? Yeah. He did. You're thinking of the other one. But we do not count that as a Wicker Man. Right, okay. We count the original. The original where he's just, oh God. Oh, oh Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord. Oh Christ, no oh Christ. Yeah, I know that one. It's oh. like a fever dream film, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. around the little bit. I'm getting midsummer vibes. I'm getting kind of isolation vibes. We walk in and everyone goes silent. Everyone's going to go silent and stare at us, yeah. Well, they will if I've got the fucking chips in. I'm just like, Sorry. Hello, we, um, so we actually have, we went to that pub. It, it looked really kind of dodgy on the outside. Inside it was actually quite nice. It was cosy. It was I mean, right there was there. an interesting it sent me back use of uh, yeah. mirror balls. Yeah. Uh, otherwise it was all right. The beer was really good. The beer was it nice. Was, it was called Bolly. And That's it was like a local. Icelandic. And it was eight pounds a People pint. People could smoke in there. <sighs> yeah. You could smoke in there. So it the felt like being in the early noughties. Yeah. Well, it's 11 p.m. It's actually dark now. But yeah, no, eight pounds a pint. Um, That's crazy. For, and this is just a regular pub, but we are in, you know, on an island as well. Yeah. I wonder if it's cheaper here at the mainland. Counted about maybe seven, eight people, kind of just having a nice time drinking and having games of pool, so that was cool. They must all be millionaires. They must all be really well, I uh, know, like their jobs must be pretty good here. The living's expensive. <laughs> eight pound a pint. That's crazy. But yeah, it's a fun night. It was a bit, it was just a little, we had to do something. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then tomorrow we are getting back on the car ferry, back to Reykjavik, going whaling to a whaling museum, 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 and that's all we've got going tomorrow. Yeah. At 3 p.m., so we've got all day. Uh, Good back night. To pods, though, now. See you tomorrow. Let's to the pods. Let's tuck ourselves in. Podrick Payne, my favorite Game of Thrones character. Game of Thrones was filmed in Iceland. It was. And so was a load of Bond films and uh, Interstellar and. Um, Loads of things were filmed in Iceland, for good reason. Holy shit. He's giant puffin. Yeah, that's a, that is a solid thumbs up. Pod time. <sighs> Clambering into my tiny pod. There's so much room in this giant plastic coffin. <laughs> there is, I mean, there is quite a lot of room. I mean, I reckon two people could sleep in here. Although, you, it's so plasticky, any movement is felt. Yeah. How's it over there? I'm about to get into your sensory deprivation chamber. I've got a lot of energy left to expel. Christ. You know what I mean? <laughs> got my device. Oh, well, good night. You're leaving this door open? Oh, yeah. He's saying for use is what I'm hearing. I think he scrawled it on his back in Sharpie. He did, yeah. Yeah. That's how he is at nine. So I'm going to be sleeping here with these, these very lovely lenses. I hope they treat me right. And we'll see you on the flip side. Wish us well. <laughs>